welcome to my YouTube channel. So, if you are new to my YouTube channel, can you please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So guys, today I'll be talking about ethnocentrism and relativism. So, later on, I'll be discussing or I'll be talking about the relationship and the differences between the ethnocentrism and the relativism. So, in today's world, we are more exposed to many people belonging to different race and background through the appearances, skin color, language, culture, and values became the social norms to separate people into different, different groups. So, what is ethnocentrism? So ethnocentrism is judging another culture solely by your values and standards of one's own culture. Your worldview is based on your beliefs, assumptions, expectations, and values shaped by your culture's language, behavior, customs, religion, and etc. So ethnocentrism has advantages and disadvantages. But first, let's go first the advantages. So these are the advantages of ethnocentrism. First, we have um, create um, love and uh, love or create feeling of belonging and unity. Second, we have developed love for the nation, culture, traditions, and values. Third, we have generating pride and self. And now let's move on to the disadvantages of ethnocentrism. First, we have disliking or making false judgments on other cultures. Second, we have blind faith in one's culture. Third, we have discrimination due to differences in beliefs. So these uh, ethnic distinctions or subdivisions serve to define each culture's identity or ethnicity's unique cultural identity. So in this matter, we can easily identify from what culture or ethnic group you are belong or am I belong. So this is one of the example of ethnocentrism, um, identifying or from one culture from one culture to another culture or from one ethnic group to another ethnic group ethnocentric individuals judge other groups relative to their own ethnic group or culture especially with concern for language behavior customs and religion so according to William G Sumner ethnocentrism is defined as the technical name for the view of things in which one's own group is the center of everything and all others are scaled and rated with reference on it or to it. So he also um, he further um, characterized it as often leading to pride, uh, vanity, beliefs of one's own group superiority, and contempt of outside. In the study of anthropology, ethnocentric are people born into a particular culture that grow up observing the values and behaviors of the culture will develop a worldview that considers their culture. However, since people are accustomed to their birth culture, it can be difficult for them to see the behaviors of people from a different culture or from the viewpoint of that culture rather than from their own culture. So, for example, if people then experience other cultures that have different values and normal behaviors, they will find that the, the thought patterns appropriate to their birth culture are not appropriate to their new culture. So another example of um, ethnocentrism included uh, religio religious-centric contracts claiming a divine association like divine nation. So, one nation under God, God's own country, um, God's chosen people, and God's promised land. So, let's move on to the cultural relativism. So, cultural relativism is the principle that an individual person's beliefs and activities should be understood by others in terms of that individual's own culture. Um, it was established as accepted in anthropological research by Franz Boas. So, in the first few decades of the 20th century, and later popularized by his students. What is cultural relativism? So, cultural relativism was in part a uh, corresponds to Western ethnocentrism. So, ethnocentrism uh, may take obvious forms, forms in which one consciously believes that one's people arts are the most beautiful, values the most virtuous, and believes the most truthful. He 
was articulated or he was the first articulated the idea in 1887 so the civilization is not something absolute but it is relative so in our ideas and conceptions are truly only so far as our own civilization goes however Boas did not coin the term Franz Boas originally trained in physics and geography so argue that one's culture may mediate and thus limit one's perceptions in less obvious ways. At some point, he also understood that culture is to include not only certain theses in art, foods, and music, or beliefs about religion. So, um, the understand in this understanding of culture confronts anthropologists with two problems. First, we have how to escape the unconscious bonds of one's own culture, which inevitably bias our perceptions of our reactions to the world. Second, we have a um, second how to make sense of an unfamiliar culture. So, in generalization, ethnocentrism is the tendency to assume that one's own culture and way of life represent the norm, the norm or are superior to all others. Well, cultural relativism is the viewing of people's behavior from the perspective of their own culture. So, that's all for my discussion guys about ethnocentrism and relativism. So, if you guys understood or um, have some ideas or opinions about ethnocentrism and relativism, kindly please comment below and share this video, like, and subscribe. That's all for today and goodbye.